वेलकाम टू माई चैनल ओमेन फेस वेरियस प्रब्लेम इन देयर रिप्रोडक्टिव सिसटेम एंड फर दिस प्रब्लेम इट इज बिकम डिफिकल्ट टू कन्सेप्ट ए बेबी एट ए टाइम्स हैन दे गो टू द डक्टर टू कन्सिप्ट द डक्टर सजेस्ट हैविंग ए टी बी एस टेस सो इन दिस भिडियो आई उल डिसकस अबाउट वन हट इज टी बी एस टेस्ट टू हाउ इज इट डान थ्री हट डि यू सी इन ए टी बी एस टेस्ट फोर हाउ कैन यू टेल इफ यूर टी बी एस टेस्ट इज नर्माल और इफ देर इज ए प्रब्लेम आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस भिडियो यू उल होपफुली ए ग्रेट क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट टी बी एस टेस्ट इनशाला सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हट इज टी बी एस टेस्ट द फुल फर्म अफ टी एस इज ट्रांस बेजेनल सोनोग्राफी ट्रांस बेजेनल मीन्स थ्रू द बेजेनल रोड इन सिम्पल ट्रम टी वी एस इज ए स्पेशल टाइप अफ आल्ट्रासाउंड दैट इज पार्फर्म बै इन्सार्टिंग एंड आल्ट्रासाउंड प्रूफ इन सैड द वेजाइना द आल्ट्रासाउंड प्रूफ दैट इज यूज फर स्कैनिंग थ्रो द एबडोम इज नोन एज ट्रांस एबडोमिनल सोनोग्राफी एट दिस टाइम आई उल डिसकस द डिफरेंस बिटुईन ट्रांस एबडोमिनल आल्ट्रासाउंड एंड ट्रांस बेजेनल आल्ट्रासाउंड आल्ट्रासाउंड इज बेसिकली ए टाइप अफ साउंड वेब दैट क्रिएट्स इमेज अफ वेरियस पार्ट अफ द एबडोम Through this image, doctor can determine whether his organ are normal or abnormal. Transabdominal sonography examines the organ inside the abdomen by placing an ultrasound probe on the upper part of the abdomen. However, if an ultrasound is done to the determine infertility or pregnancy, specific organs such as the uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries, egg follicles, etc., need to be seen in detail. When a general ultrasound is done on the abdomen it is not possible to see this structures clearly that's why as you may know the ultrasound probe goes through the fat tissue underneath the abdominal skin then the muscle and then many layers of membrane before reaching the uterus therefore measuring the small follicle inside the uterus or ovaries is not possible through the abdominal ultrasound The same thing when the performing a transvaginal sonography where the ultrasound probe is inserted about 2 to 3 inch into the vaginal canal at the point of the ultrasound probe is very close to the uterus and can clearly visualize its internal structures this makes it easier to diagnose the patient which is not possible with an abdominal sonography now discuss about what do you see in a tvs test during a tvs or transvaginal ultrasound test the uterus ovaries fallopian tubes urinary bladder cervix cervix means opening of the uterus and other reproductive organs of women are examined in other word the reproductive organs of women are seen to understand this topic we will discuss a report directly so that we can understand it better the report consists of two parts one part has some pictures that do not help us understand anything and other part contain detail reading and we will read the part the upper part of the report has the patient detail information after that it say abdominal ultrasound with tbs which means that the ultrasound is first done on the abdomen and then the tbs examination is performed the first part of the report is available number 1 uterus here it is written that the uterus is endoverted and normal size the uterus is generally either endoverted or retroverted notice the picture if the uterus is in front of the bladder it's called an endoverted uterus and the uterus is toward the back of the urinary bladder it is called a retroverted uterus having an endoverted uterus is good let's not talk about size then it is written that myometrial and endometrial echos are normal myometrium and endometrium are the name of the two layer inside the uterus the report says that they are normal In the next line it is mentioned that the endometrial thickness is 4.5 mm which means the thickness of the endometrial layer is 4.5 mm it is very important for pregnancy that the endometrial layer inside the uterus remain normal the thickness of the endometrium layer varies at different time during menstruation in addition if someone has endometrial polyp tumor or cyst 
or if the endometrial thickness is high then there may be abnormal bleeding during the menstruation and sometimes difficult to conceiving a baby therefore through tbs examination the shape of the uterus and whether there is any tumor or prolip inside the uterus are seen moreover the endometrial layer inside the uterus is clearly observed after that it is written the multiple nebothian cysts on average size of 4 mm are seen in the cervix the mouth of the uterus is called cervix this report state that there are multiple cysts at the mouth of the uterus please see the picture the next section mention to ovary both ovaries are normal in size and ecotexture the report indicate that the both ovaries are normal the report state that the right ovary show multiple follicle and a large follicle measuring 18 mm which is very important small follicles are present in the ovaries of the human which grow and undergo ovulation during a certain time of the menstrual cycle ovulation is necessary for conceiving a baby and it is important that the follicle in the ovaries are of the correct size here it is show that there is an 18 mm follicle in the right ovary to determine the size of the follicle transvaginal ultrasound is typically performed on days 10 to 12 of the menstrual cycle if the size of the follicle is less than 16 mm during this time it is considered unsuitable for conception if the follicle size is 18 mm or larger ovulation can occur and conception is possible if intercourse take place at this time the left ovary also examined in the same way but three urinary bladder if any problem with an urinary bladder can be seen through the tbs test the report state that the bladder is normal in size with a smooth regular wall and an aconic lumen there is no evidence of any mass or calculus additionally the report state that there is no free fluid in the caldi sac the caldi sac it is a part of the uterus where fluid can accumulate during ovulation in omen no such as fluid is seen in this case it means the patient is not currently ovulating for fallopian tube after ovulation the egg travels through the tube from the ovary and meets with the sperm of the male if there is any blockage in the fallopian tube conception does not occur fallopian tube blockage can be seen through a tbs test although an hsg test is better for detecting tube blockage additionally a tbs test is done to determine early pregnancy generally trans abdominal sonography cannot detect pregnancy before 7 weeks however with a tbs test it can be detected at 5 weeks sometimes a tbs test is done to detect fetal heartbeat at early pregnancy therefore tbs test is also used for the determination of early pregnancy and atopic pregnancy we have read the detailed report and can see the impression or comment option at the end of the report don't need to read all of the above just read this section will let you know if there is any problem you can see detailed size and shape information in the above option however the important good and bad aspect of the report are listed here report here states that everything is grossly normal expect for a nebothian cyst in the cervix also a dominant follicle is seen in the right ovary indicating suitability for ovulation to understand these findings better we need to look at two more tbs test reports and see what they say the impression in this report state that no significant abnormalities was detected indicating that the report is normal another report state that here is a single live intrauterine pregnancy at 7 weeks and 5 days which means there is a viable fetus inside the uterus that is 7 weeks and 5 days old by this process you can read your tbs test report and you can determine whether everything is normal or abnormal now i am giving the answer to tbs related question a sister asked me is there any problem doing the tbs test again and again the answer is no 
repeated tvs does not cause any problems no more today hope today's video was helpful for you if you find the video helpful don't forget to share with your friends please subscribe to the channel to get health advice health awareness and reproductive health related all these videos and remember to become a member of our family stay with us healthy and safely thank you for watching this video